and welcome to another video. Last month, probably around six weeks ago now, I had another lesson with my dressage instructor with Nelly and actually filmed the entire thing because I like to watch them back so that I can learn more and I find that I'm so busy concentrating on my riding and trying to do everything right at the time that I don't always retain all the information that I've been taught so I always watch it back in full. And I was watching it back in full and thought, hang on, other people might want to see this and learn a bit too. I did actually post, maybe around six months ago, another lesson video with the same instructor and I actually got really good feedback on that video. A lot of people messaged me saying that they really enjoyed it. So although it seems long, bear with it because there's a lot of learning going on in there. So keeping it short and sweet, I will hand you over to August Ailey and Nelly and my dressage instructor who is a dressage judge. Enjoy. Good. <clears throat> Now put in some extra work, like some sidey ways, just a little tiny bit, keeping the forwardness all the time. So if you go sideways in a leg yield, you might need to think on a bit. Yeah. Come on, that's it, into the outside rein. Don't pull the outside rein out. Fill up the outside rein from your leg. Otherwise it's not leg yield. So turn down at the, in the centre. Move her over now. Don't wait till you're straight. Move over. Outside rein against the neck. Now straight, now outside ring and over, okay, change your diagonal so you're on the outside one, do that again, now outside ring against the neck, she makes you pull it away, inside leg forward, now, now get the shoulders over here, outside ring against the neck, outside ring against the neck, get over, Get over. Thank you. Get over. And do it again. Now get over to K or over H. Get over to H. Outside rein against the neck. Fill up that outside rein with your leg. That's better. Do you see the difference? Yeah. And again. So this can be developed, the outside rein against the neck. She's not a three-year-old that your five-year-old that you're pulling it over. Go on, get over. Get off, get off that shoulder. Well ridden. Change the rein and do it in reverse. From the centre line? Yeah, give yourself more space. Side rein against the neck, you should find it easier. See the difference? Yeah. Because she likes her right shoulder, yeah? Yeah, she never used to. What? That's a, apparently that's a good sign. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well done! And into your outside rein. Over. Into your outside. Go on, get more over. Yeah, well ridden. Go large. And leg yield in your own time off your outside leg. It's off track. Yes. Because that's very telling. Yes. Change your diagonal because you're you're going to leg yield to the left. So change onto your left diagonal. Now go to the to the left off your right leg. Yeah. That tells her which way she's going. Well done! 
again. And again. Stay on that diagonal. Leg yield off your right leg off the track. Over. Over. Now. Today. Not mañana. <laughs> well ridden. Oh, it's warm. That's Have great. a rest if you want. Find all leg yielding isn't looked upon as a suppling exercise it does have a suppling effect but more more than that it's a coordination and an obedience to the leg exercise yeah are they truly moving off your inside leg so the scale of, of preparation is in the stable get over get over yeah. and then turn on turn about the forehand turn on the forehand leg yield shoulder in travel half past but if you don't have one you don't have the rest it falls apart yes yeah. and it all comes from the suppleness from your <laughs> leg so while you're waiting for her to to become looser over her back so she can step through more mm -hmm. you don't have to wait going endless endless <laughs> circles yeah. where everybody falls asleep you can say, okay, so we're going to go this way, we're going to go that way, we're going to go here, and we're going to go there. Yes. And then you'll find you can go on a bit and back a bit, but with a lovely swing to the tail. So what the camera is trying to pick up <laughs> is the swing of the tail, that it's doing that, it's not just stuck out. Yes. And it starts to swing because the tail is an extension of the back. Yeah. Yeah? So... <laughs> we want a full swing through the whole length of the tail. And you can see this with horses which aren't going very forward, but they have a lovely loose swing to the back. Yeah? Yeah. And then they just need a little bit more energy. You've got to get that swing first, because without that swing, if you put energy into a stiff horse, you end up with a stiffer one. Yeah. So that's absolutely right. So you're going to change the rein, leg yield off your left leg, so you're going to go round to the right. Yep. You'll, if you can remember this, change onto the diagonal you're going to be going to. Yep. And leg yield off the track off your left leg. You can um, you can yield off your left leg coming down the centre if you wish. Yeah. Coming off the track makes it harder. I'll try it. I'll try it. Um, but that's super and basically you warm up just with emphasis on different parts tends to be the same if she's feeling a bit doggy a bit too tight canter her yeah but she has to respect your leg yeah that's up. definitely gotten better that's much much better and they can't do it all at once oh, there we are they, they can't do it all at once. It takes time to develop. I mean, look at her chest. She's got big chest, hasn't she? <laughs> She's got up a size or two in her bra. <laughs> and straight ahead. Yeah, <clears throat> so she doesn't fall through that shoulder. Well ridden. Oh, that's super. Well, she can do that, so that's okay. Don't need to do any more than that. So, change back, yeah. Have a canter. All right, so let's get a better trot first. Okay. So, the quality of the transition is dependent on the preceding phase. So work that trot on a, <clears throat> on a bit, back a bit. Sharpen her up in front of your leg. And a wee bit back. And a forward. And back. And back. And back. And forward. And canter. That's it. So you didn't have a connection? Yeah, I think I had nothing in my hand. No, she's got to take your hand forward. Well done.
and prepare to down the pace by shortening, shortening with your legs and bigger and canter. Yeah, much better connection and smaller circle about, I don't know, 18, turning that outside shoulder. <laughs> Well done, and trotting. And shorten and lengthen the trot. Now get her in front of the leg. Like no cross country. Yep. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't worry about those just yet. That depends on suppleness. Okay. Uh, yeah. And canter, bigger, canter, well ridden. So she needs a bit more accelerator into the can. Yeah. Yeah, and trot. Change the weight. Good. away from the dock and there's a slight swing but before it was uh, it was clamped quite hard so this lifting of the tail is good and gradually over the weeks you will see more swing through that tail from the dock and then it'll swing all the way through you can see it now there's a bit, a bit more swing good and work the trot and then canter you see a little bit from the top yeah, yeah. Yeah, much better. And down the pace. Turning, turning. Ten, ten meter half circle. Ten meter half circle. Turn, 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 turn. Turn. Canter. Keep turning. Outside rain. Keep turning. That's too much neck bend. And canter. And keep a smaller circle, about 12 meters, sit up and turn, up and turn, and turn, and turn. Well ridden. And trotting, and turn. Yeah, change the rein anywhere you like. 10 meter circle, get inside leg into the outside rein. Super. Outside rein, outside rein, keep her neck straight, turn her shoulder, yeah, and turning into the circle canter, turning, turn, now, that's it, can you shorten your reins, outside rein, not the inside one, Keep her head straight, keep her nose in the middle of her chest. Up and round and up and round. And down a pace. Now that's interesting. She's on your right rein. Can you feel it? Yes. Yeah. Look at her nose. Now keep her nose in the middle of her breastbone. Flex her to the left. Now she's straight. Well, that's it there. Now keep her looking. That's it. Keep her nose in the middle of her chest. Now do a circle. Keep that nose. So she's popping out through the left shoulder. Yeah. And turn. Yeah. That's better. Have a rest or canter. Keeping that nose in the middle of her chest. Up and round. And circle. Outside leg, outside rein. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And down the pace. Good. Now work the top. 
good, good. Much better trough, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So now you've got it, is not the time to rest. Nope. Now is to work her properly with the trot you've got. So now can you close the frame? Can you just bring her nose more to the butt? Yeah. And keep her there. Well done. <coughs> Do what you like. Serpentine, half circle back to the trot. Keep her nose to you more. That's it. Keep that frame closed from behind. Keep her nose to you a little bit more. She's a little bit open in the throat. Circles is what does it Good. Yeah. Keep that nose in the middle. I got turned. <laughs> no. Serpentine. But if you can't do a serpentine, don't worry. Now ride her shoulders. And turning. And turn. Turn your shoulders. And straight. And turn your shoulders. Without leaning. <laughs> Not turning. Well ridden. Yeah, keep it. And forward to WALK. Keep the connection. Feel you can trot at any moment from that walk. When you like, keep it to you. Can you trot? And walk. And trot. Now keep her nose to you. Wriggle your fingers and say, give me your nose. Give me your nose. Now keep, you know, your side ring. And forward to walk. Keep her nose to you. Because she pokes it anyway. Wriggle, wriggle, leg, leg, wriggle. Yeah. And give her a long rein. Give her a long rein. That's okay. Oh, but how did that feel? Good, yeah. No, no. Uh, that's 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 a, uh, a non-answer. <laughs> that's like fine. Yeah, fine. Fine's not good enough. Freer than usual. I feel like we're not as consistent in the contact as we could be, and I find that that's mostly when I'm doing tighter turns. That probably means she's too stiff for the shoulder. She's too stiff to the back. Yeah. So when I ask you to close the frame, she starts doing that. Yeah. It's nothing to do with that. It's to do with everything over here. Yeah, and she finds it difficult to do that. It would be interesting if you lunge her, you can lunge her in here. Yeah. No, no, that's okay. Um, it might be too, too Wait, long to sail. Yeah, yeah. Um, but lunging her with side reins. Um, in the canter, she's got a lot of head nodding. Yeah. That is because her loins aren't doing that so okay. something's got to go up and down mm -hmm. and that's where you get all this head nodding with more novelty horses yeah. because the hind leg isn't sitting okay okay if you watch charlotte and carl their horses heads are not doing that no. but their horses bums are doing that yeah. and that yeah so she is tight there but she's a lot better mm -hmm. yeah but where it's at it's not yeah um, so I, how do we fix that? Well, more and more suppling. Um, you notice when you ask for a better quality trot into canter, she didn't throw her head up as yeah. much. Yeah. So she needs to be more over the back this way, which comes from stepping through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, working with a longer, deeper outline. I mean, if I just stand here and do this, because I've been standing there, I can feel my loins and my back pulling there. Yeah. So she needs to work a lot deeper. But you We've been doing that. Good. At the end of a end of a session. She needs to start with it. That start way. with it. But the, what? I can't get her to do it at the start. Really. No, you can't. No. But when you do get it, that's when you start. Yeah. <laughs> um. What everybody does, they get what they're working for. Pat the horse and put it away. <laughs> 
So the horses work 95% wrong, 5% right. Well, they need to increase the amount of time they spend doing it correctly. Yeah? Yeah. But then we're shattered by that. <laughs> Good. Did that. Fine. You can stop now. So they're not, we're not actually teaching them to, to work correctly. So walk around me in a circle. Now, active walk. Come on. Small circle. See, we should use the drift over there. <laughs> right shoulder. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. How does this feel? Yeah, 
Is this what you normally hair. have? Very light in my head. It's lower. Head's lower than normal, yeah, I would say. Yeah, she needs to be more over the back. So I'm looking at the trapezius, the muscle in front of her withers needs to be stretched out. <clears throat> it's good that she's not curling at the um, axis vertebrae. She has a straight neck. She's not giving a false bend. Now push that head down. Ask, ask with your reins. Soften, fill it up with your leg. So get the ears down with your reins. Soften and say, come on. That's where I want you. There's the reward, the softening. Oh, she says, that's nice. I think I'll go there. Well ridden. I can see that now. There. That's the feel you should have. Now let her go down even more. She's saying, oh, oh, I didn't know I could do this. This is actually quite nice. And she needs to be confident that she can use these muscles because she didn't know she had them. Well done. Change the rain um, diagonal. I don't know, wherever you want. Now wriggle the bit just so she doesn't put her nose up. Keep the leg on on the turn. <coughs> More legs. Quicker legs. So it's a question of quickening the leg, not a harder leg. Yes. You can feel the fly, so we don't want to put them all bang or do anything crude like that, but we can nip them more. Be more horse fly. <laughs> all right, so in your own space, I want you to, now this is going to be difficult, come in to walk with her head down there. <clears throat> keep her there, keep her there, keep her there. That's it, ride that hind leg into it and loose rein and pattern. Good. You have to break a few eggs. You have to get a reaction. Yeah. That's better already. Right, come on, bigger. She's just about, yeah. Bigger, bigger. That's about third gear. Do, does she have a fourth? Come on, the bear's going to chase you. Let's go have some. Uh, well, that's about 3.2. Come on, Ely. Come on. Mean it. <laughs> oh, thank you. There we go. Well ridden. Now I'm opening up the shoulders and stepping through. You see the hind leg? It should be like a bicycle. It should be doing a circle. It okay. should bend the hock, step under, and, and, and then push up. Keep working that hind leg. So many horses just put it straight to the ground and they wear out their hocks. They, they just go up, down, up, All down. right, okay. That's it. That's much better behind. She's now making circles with her legs, not just that. Good, bigger, change the rein. Work on that trot. And bigger still, because she slows down on the turn. Quicken the leg, keep that frame well ridden. Keep it, keep the frame. Now, can to the legs. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, keep the frame. A circle. Yeah, keep those hind legs jumping under you. Well ridden. Good. Keep the contact, she's poking, oh, nearly, um, very, very good, 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 let the circle do the work, bigger jump, I want her to jump a metre from that counter, yeah, we're going to, ooh, ooh. yeah, okay. good, keep jumping, now we're coming up to one metre ten, and down a pace. Keep it, work it. How does that feel? Fine, not allowed. 
<laughs> Fine's not allowed. Don't step on the poop. Yeah, I'll go get that. Good. And bigger. And can. Now, make it happen. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> now circle. Yeah. Keep turning the shoulders. Keep the connection. Sit on your bum. That's not your bum. Keep your hips in front of your shoulders. And shorten her with your legs. And down a pace. There. Now keep it to you. There. Give her a contact. There. Good. Change the rein. Keep it to you. She's too open in the frame. Close that frame. And counter. Yeah. Much easier. Well ridden and circle, keep her closed, just pulse the reins and say come on give me your nose, more we'll jump in the back, that's it, now you're more closed in the frame, you're containing the energy and she has to lift her back. Let her stretch on a big circle. And if you look, you can see the heave line of the ribs and the tummy. Mm. That's showing you, I mean, she's got a bit of a tummy, but it's showing you she's using her abs. And have a rest. I'm not going to stop at you guys. Yeah, I was going to say don't stop at us. <laughs> I'm going to go past you too. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that video I love watching other people's lesson videos so I really hope that you did too if you didn't you can obviously let me know and I don't need to post any more of them but if you did leave a little comment down below because I try to get lessons once a month sometimes more um, and if I can I'm absolutely happy to get people to film them and same for Heather when Heather is getting lessons as well but if it's not content that you want to see then that's absolutely fine and I don't have to do that so it's up to you. Like this video if you liked it, leave a comment if you want to give a yes or a no, and subscribe if you're not already, and you can follow us on Instagram which is at 2 jollyjockeys. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!